Hey guys, how's it going? It's Mac here from Cryptstar. Today I'm going to go ahead and do a tutorial and show you guys exactly how to log into the new Ubisoft Quartz platform and claim your new Tezos NFTs and go ahead and connect your wallet to the platform itself. Now you cannot claim these NFTs yet and you also have to make sure you have at least or at least level 5 in Ghost Recon Breakpoint, otherwise you can't even log into the platform. All right, so we go ahead and head over to the PC. You can see here that I have played about uh, two, two or three hours and I'm level eight. It takes about one hour to reach level five. It's pretty easy. So it's very low, low barrier to entry for this very first NFT. Then you, once you go ahead and log in, you, you'll be able to log into this website. It won't show you like you need to reach level five or anything because you've achieved that milestone. Just go ahead and uh, log into one of the two wallets. There are two wallets here, Kukai and Temple. In this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and use Temple. So just log in there. If you need to know how to use Temple, please check out my other tutorials in the description. I'll show you how to use those. This is my account. I'm gonna go ahead and log into this account. Once you connect this account, you cannot delete the connection, so you cannot connect to another Tezos account. So make sure this is the wallet that you want to use. And I actually have my ledger, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my ledger and go ahead and connect with that. And what the ledger is, it's a hardware device that you can go ahead and store all of your crypto and Tezos on and your NFTs as well. I uh, found my ledger device and now I just uh, touch my security key. Okay, boom. And now it's gonna sign a message. It'll take about maybe 10 seconds to log me in and boom, um, my account is fully set up. Now, once you log in and you connect your account, you never, uh, as of right now, you never have to like log in or sign anything with Temple again. It'll just pop up and your NFTs will show up automatically in your Temple wallet. I think it just reads the NFTs from your Temple wallet. Um, there's not a lot of information on this yet. As of right now, it looks like there are three different types of NSTs you can get, uh, and they're basically like uh, gear for the game. So one is the Tactical Wolves uh, M4A1, and that requires, it looks like, just level 5, and that will be released tomorrow. Woohoo! So I'm going to grab that as soon as it's released. Also, they're going to have this Wolf Enhanced Helmet A, and that requires 600 hours of in-game play. That is a lot of hours. You better get started playing now if you're going to get that NFT. It's going to be limited edition, so check that out. Wolf Enhanced Pants. Wolf Enhanced pants <laughs> it's, it's a little bit easier it's only 100 hours so you can go ahead and play for 100 hours you should be able to get that uh, pretty easy peasy uh, uh lemon squeezy that's it for the tutorial today thank you for watching and i will see you next time on Cryptstar staking and we'll also be doing a lot more gaming tutorials on this channel so please stay tuned see y'all next time bro we need to pop it everybody go to the twitter and the hashtag the things pump it you know, pump it real good. We need a good pump. Everybody deserves a nice Tezos pump.